Hi, I'm Sean here with Frame Destination in the production area. Behind me, we have my fellow teammates hard at work. Today, we are going to be showing you how easy it is to insert a piece of artwork or photo into your handmade metal picture frame once you receive it. Now, for this particular example, we will be using a picture frame that includes matte backing and glazing as well. But if you did not order a picture frame that includes matte, I'll also be showing you how to assemble your picture frame as well. Now your shipping box is going to include a carefully wrapped pre-assembled picture frame along with a set of printed instructions and either a hanging kit or hardware kit for your picture frame as well. Now let's frame some artwork. The first step after removing your picture frame from the package is to put it on a flat surface with the back facing up. And since this is a portrait orientated uh, photo, we're going to go ahead and have the short end of the frame towards us. I usually like to have down some mat board or maybe some clean towels just to make sure we protect the picture frame from any kind of debris or particles or anything like that. Now, after we have that position, we'll go ahead and take out the spring clip using a flathead screwdriver. And we'll just insert the screwdriver under one of the tips and gently pull those out. Or you can also use your fingers as well. Sometimes the fingers can be a little bit easier. The way we do that, we just wanna gently push up on the frame and pull out those spring clips. And once we have that done, we can go ahead and take off the bottom half of the frame so we can grab our contents. So we do that by unscrewing a couple of screws at the top. And that's gonna loosen up our frame so we can remove this bottom piece. So we'll gently take this off, slide that to the side, and now we can remove the contents from our frame. If your artwork has already been trimmed to size and you didn't order a mat, you can easily slide the artwork in between the glass and the backing. And there's no need to mount because your artwork is going to be secure. Right. And if you ordered acrylic, that's going to be an extra step, but we'll be more than happy to go over that later in the video with you. If your frame included a mat, what you're going to want to do is remove the contents from the picture frame and just place those to the side. And we'll also go ahead and put the picture frame to the side as well. I like to use uh, some of our uh, microfiber uh, towels just to make sure we don't get any smudges or anything on the glass. And next, we will go ahead and remove the mat from our picture frame contents. We'll also grab our, our artwork. And since this is a portrait style photo, we'll go ahead and place a short end towards us. And for the mounting process, we're going to be using self-adhesive hinging tape. You can purchase this tape from our website. There's a link in the video description for that. This is an acid-free tape, so it won't yellow or damage your artwork over time. Now we want to cut some of our hinging tape to attach our image. So we'll cut two pieces that are about an inch and a half. And once we remove, remove the coating from the back so we can adhere that to the bottom of the, of the top of the photo. And we're going to do this with the short side closest to us. We'll grab our mat. We'll position it, make sure everything is lined up as we want it to be. And then we'll gently press down to make sure that tape is adhered. Next, we're going to flip this over. And then we'll press down again just to reinforce that tape a little bit more. All right, once we have that done, we'll grab our backing. And we'll add that to our photo mat combo. All right, and now we'll grab our glass. So now that we have our glass, we'll pick up our contents. We'll make sure we have these secure and we will put them on top of the glass. If you've chosen acrylic for your frame, let me show you how to prep and clean it. And for this next step, you wanna be extra careful. You don't want any kind of particles or debris on your acrylic once you remove the protective coating. Also try not to use your fingertips to avoid any kind of fingerprints or anything like that. So we'll grab our artwork. 
and we'll go ahead and take our protective coating off the acrylic. And to do that, we'll start by peeling a piece off the top and holding down the acrylic with our microfiber towel and removing the rest of the protective coating. Once we complete that, we're going to immediately flip that over onto our artwork and we're gonna repeat that same process on the back side. So we'll grab some of the protective coating and we'll start to peel it back towards us. If you do need to clean your acrylic, we suggest using Brilliant Ox Cleaner, specifically made for acrylic. Do not use Windex or other glass cleaners as they can damage or scratch your acrylic. And do not use paper towels due to the particles that will transfer onto the acrylic. There are links for each in the description of the video. Now we are going to slide this group of contents into our picture frame. First, we'll slide this to the side. Then we'll grab our picture frame, make sure we have the open end facing towards us. Then we'll grab our content and we will slide that into our picture frame gently. All right, we got that. All right. Now we can go ahead and add that last piece of molding that we took off to remove the content. So we'll start by inserting these back into the proper space. We'll go ahead and make sure those are flush. And then we'll use a flathead screwdriver to make sure we got everything tight and secure. So make sure it's flush. All right, perfect, we're good to go. And now we're gonna add our spring clips just to make sure we have some extra security for our contents. We'll go ahead and push that down and gently slide that under the picture frame. And your hardware kit is also gonna include some extra spring clips. So feel free to use as many as you would like to. So now we are just about done with this. And after I get done adding the spring clips, I'm going to be checking to make sure we didn't have any shift or movement in our image while we were mounting. All right, we got the last one in there. So let's double check and it looks like we're good to go. Now we can move on to hanging wire. We wanna make sure that the screw is loose on the metal clamp so it easily snaps into place on the back of our picture frame. So once we have that loosened, we will go ahead and slide that into the side of the frame. Now we usually go about a third of the way down. Um, you can use a measuring tape or you can also use this quick little trick with a screwdriver. You can slide this in and butt up the end, make sure that's secure and then we'll tighten the screw. And once we have this side secure, we'll go ahead and repeat the process on the other side as well. So we'll slide that in, get our screwdriver, make sure we're flush, and then we'll go ahead and secure this as well. Now, once we have both screwed in, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and make sure these are both secure. Right. Now, now I'm going to go ahead and thread our wire through the metal clamp. We'll give ourselves a couple of inches of slack and we'll thread it again. Make sure that's tight. And then we're going to come around and I'm going to start tightening this by wrapping the, wrap, uh, the wire around itself. So we'll do, I'm gonna do this about four or five times. Okay, now this part is secure, so we'll repeat the process on the next side. So I will pull this tight. And then I'm also going to pull up in a V shape just to give ourselves some leeway once we actually hang the frame. So once we establish that, I'm gonna feed the wire back through the metal clamp. And then I'll wrap the other side, just like the first one. So we'll try to get it as tight as we can. And once I've gone up about four or five wraps, then 
I can go ahead and cut the excess off with either scissors or wire cutters. And our last step is going to be adding bumpers to our picture frame for wall protection. So we'll flip the bottom towards us. And I'll just simply add these to the bottom. And there you have it. But wait, just in case you're traveling with your artwork, we have the perfect safety solution for you. These are gonna be our gallery pouches. These are perfect for protecting those edges and some of the glazing that's gonna be on there. Uh, so what these are, they're double, si double laminated bubble, um, smooth on both sides so you can easily slide your artwork in and out. They're usable and if you order Velcro on them, they're also resealable. Now these pouches can come in custom sizes ranging from 50 inches to 156 inches. And of course, you know we have a link in the description for you guys. Thank you again for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call at 972-479-1188 or visit our website at framedestination.com.